I can't film in my house. Like what? Is do you hear the background sounds? Hello? Hey guys, it's Milka T and I'm back with another video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited for this video, you guys don't even understand. It's a collab with one of my very, very good friends and her name is Sadia. It's your girl, Sadia. She, like, we have been friends for like the longest time, like honestly, like... Long time friend with Milka, one of my best friends, consider her sister to me. We know homies, like, literally she's one of the friends that I've had for the longest time ever, like... I just love her. Anyways, I'm here to help her explain the type of African men that the nonsense ones that we encounter, you know, <laughs> the nonsense ones, because there's some good ones, there's some good ones, but there's a few lost souls, you know, confused goats, you know. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the ones that I've encountered and maybe you've encountered them too. Let's get into it. <laughs> controlling type honestly like you can't breathe without him knowing like it's like oh i'm going to sleep what time when are you gonna wake up oh i'm going to class what time who's gonna be in class are the boys in their class is your teacher a man he basically just wants to know every single thing you're doing at every single second because he's paranoid he thinks you are you're some useless somebody he's just gonna cheat that's what it is no sense uh, tell every fine girl them that i will marry them type you just have to look nice and he will be like i want to marry you when are we gonna get married when are we gonna you know call my when am i gonna come to your father's house when am i gonna meet your parents blah 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 and you're just like like are you talking to me no sense the one with the wax style but awesome personality hey freshies Freshies, honestly, they're like the nicest, sweetest guys ever, but like their their style choices are kind of, you know, <laughs> upside down. And the thing is like they think they're so like on point, like they think they're like so swag. Oh my gosh, like I love my Kogumbi's guys, like honestly. <laughs> but I also some of the craziest things. Like, like they think they think they want to be like Jay-Z, so they're walking with like a bunch of chains, like like baggy jeans but like they're baggy jeans guys like it's not just like your regular baggy jeans it's like those washed out baggy jeans with like that are kind of like bootleg and then they they're like sagging it too and they're wearing like these weird basketball shoes and then they have these like pockets with like weird designs on them like and then like the whole jean is just like a bright blue that's kind of like washed out and you're just like oh my gosh that is so much that's going on and the thing is like when they come when they come to like holler right they're not sitting there like they're not kind of like oh hi they do the little swag. Bonjour, bonjour. Je um, David Motenge, uh, le troisième. Sorry, but like this can happen to like any guys. Like Nigerian guys are kind of like that too. Like where they they're looking at, they're out here looking really whack, but like they have like the sweetest personality and like it's just so adorable. And you know, to all the girls, you know if you have or you're you're having someone like you know pursue you who has a wax style but you know is um really sweet like honestly you can always change someone's style you can always change that like make him look at like you know the way like david beckham dresses these days be like this is what's up no sense <laughs> this is the one nigerian called mumu boy he's a fool he's foolish he just does whatever you say like, this is the one is the saddest guy you'll ever see in your life he doesn't think for himself he's incompetent he's insecure <laughs> Like he does whatever you say like just to please you just to get that green card just to get those papers You feel me like there's a difference between a guy treating you like a queen and a guy who's a pushover You know what I'm saying? He does whatever whenever like if you tell him to jump off the bridge He will do it because he, he'll be like I love you so much I'll do anything for you because this is, this is the most dangerous one I think he's the one plotting behind your back you trying to do whatever you say and Loki trying to kill you in your sleep. No sense. The Sugar Fada, aka Mr. Inappropriate. Actually, you know what, guys? This is actually like a really serious subject, like the whole like sugar daddy type of thing. And that's like really popular with like African girls as well. Like 
women or girls being, I guess, victimized or like targeted by like these like older, older, richer guys who are basically enticed you with money, basically. And it's really sad. It's like, you know, in 2060, like women should feel empowered to like make their own money, build their own empire and whatnot. But like, we're, they're out here wasting their life, you know, jumping from sugar daddy to sugar daddy. Like, uncles, like, it's like, it's super inappropriate. Nobody, nobody's got time for that. My friend, you have a wife and kids at home. Go home, okay? Love your kids. Stop just nonsense. Like it's it's ridiculous. It's 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 ridiculous. Like sugar daddies, stop sugar daddies. Twenty seventeen. We we have to make it happen. Twenty seventeen is the year of no sugar daddies. Hallelujah. Um. Hashtag stop sugar daddy. Twenty seventeen. Hashtag uncle go home. Twenty seventeen. Uncle go home. Nonsense. And of course, we couldn't forget the wannabe gangster. He's the type to totally disrespect your parents. His pat is under his butt cheeks. Here you can see his boxes. Like Then he'll come to your father's house and be like, Hello, Sam. You know, I'm trying to take your daughter out. You're nice. He comes to your house disrespecting your father. Like, what is that? They're always the one trying to make you their little video vixen too. I'm sorry, but I have to say Congolese guys. Congolese guys are the wannabe gangsters of Africa. That's how I see it. There's no negotiating that. Like every every Congolese guy I've seen is a wannabe gangster. Like I don't know what it is about Congolese guys wanting to be gangsters. First of all, one Red flag number one, they bleached their skin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Milka, but you know this. You know this. They lose the time to like church and all that. Like, they wear the brightest suit. They wear like alligator skin shoes. They got their Gucci watch. It could be fake, you know. Like they be holding their twenty dollar bills in one dollar bills. Like if you have more, comment below. And yeah, I'll try to do more collab because it was super fun doing it with my friend. We're like we've been friends for like for like ever. When I tell you guys, like Ghanaian people, like when I was talking about like how you should go for Ghanaian people because like there's no Wahala like. I meant it. Like, I've actually literally, like, never had a fight with her. Like, we, like, talk all the time about, like, almost everything. Oh, my gosh. I teared up. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Show your friends. Show your family. Show your mommy. Show your daddy. Show that uncle that's been disturbing you. Be like, bruv, this is what Milka T said. Why am I looking at something? They will wear their hat sideways, backwards, crooked. Like, what? You know, you're a belle femme, huh? You're a clown, huh? You're very joli, huh? Frère, Nathia va me choquer. Je suis pas très claire. Narvin mettez.